Hey there, everyone. Hope you guys are having a great night. There's going to be a little bit of a delay in my camera probably tonight. And I actually was planning to do this class within an event, but I forgot you cannot go live. Um, from your computer in an event, and I wanted to share um, some a PowerPoint with you. So, oh good, I can see um, that a couple of people have joined. That's great. Sometimes I can't see comments and things on my computer. So guys, um, if you're joining me live, then please say hello. Uh, let me know you're here. I'm going to do a giveaway at the end, so I'd love to know um, that you're on, and please ask any questions uh, as we go through. All right, I'm going to dive right in. I've uh, titled tonight's talk, Simple Solutions. Uh, and, and this is really, sorry, I was at the end of my slides there, so got back to the beginning. Uh, this is really about plant-based solutions for your most common health problems. Hey, Deborah. So let's dive right in. Um, Essential oils, we hear about them, you know, everywhere now. They're, they're kind of sold everywhere. Um, they're becoming very popular and they will be mainstream uh, probably sooner uh, rather than later. Um, but what are they? You know, when I started using essential oils, I really didn't know. Um, hey, Shelby. Oh, I'm so glad you could join. I really didn't know a lot about what they were or where they came from. Even being, you know, in the medical field, this is not something that we learn about, you know, through our medical training. But essential oils are really just extracts that come from plants and they are composed of so many different chemicals and compounds and that's why they're so beneficial to our body. You know, our bodies have similar cell structure as plants and that's why they work so well with our bodies. They do evaporate very quickly into the air. They're very tiny particles, and they absorb into the skin extremely rapidly. Now, hey, Brenda, many of you are probably familiar. If you don't know a lot about essential oils, you've probably at least used or heard of using uh, herbs for you know, medicinal purposes. Well, essential oils are about 50 to 70 times more powerful than herbs. So that just kind of goes to show you how concentrated and strong they are. So as we go through and talk a little bit, you'll see a little bit goes a very long way. So always remember that. So let's talk about the ways to use oils. Aromatically is one of the most common and most popular ways. Um, aromatically is just simply breathing in the plant extract or the oils. And there are many benefits to this, so I'm just going to give you probably the top three benefits. First is it really affects your mood. Um, there's a lot of science behind this, um, but when we breathe the oils in, it affects an area in our brain called the limbic system. And this controls our emotions. Um, it even controls things like heart rate and blood pressure. So we can really affect our mood by breathing the oils in and using them aromatically. You can see in the picture I have a diffuser. That's actually one of my absolute favorite favorite diffusers. It's uh, made by doTERRA. I keep this one on my nightstand or my bedside table because it's just perfect for that area. But if you're not familiar with a diffuser, you basically just put water in the diffuser and a couple of drops of your essential oil of choice and it mists out into the air. You can kind of think of this like almost like a humidifier if you're familiar with a humidifier. So not only can we affect the mood by diffusing oils, um, we can also use them to help us get a restful night's sleep. That's why I use them on my bedside table. Uh, we also can help to cleanse the air. So think about, you know, you want your house to smell good, right? Well, you can have your house smell good, but also get the benefits of cleansing the air especially this time of year with, you know, all of the sickness that's going around, cold, flu, just all the germs floating around. This is a great way to cleanse the air 
and you're decreasing your toxic load by not using things like candles and plug-ins, which are extremely toxic. So the more of that that you can cut down on, you know, the better off you'll be and the better off your health will be. And then the third way that um, aromatic use is really powerful is in helping with our breathing. It really helps to open up the airways. In fact, there are a couple of different oils, and we'll talk about some of these, that if when we breathe them in, you can actually feel that you can uh, almost get a deeper, better um, breath in. And we use them a lot when we're sick. So if you have cough, congestion, it really helps to open up the airways. Now the second way to use the oils is topically. And this is another extremely common way, just applying them to the skin. In this picture you can see um, I'm applying an oil to my wrist. Using them topically, you get absorption into the skin and I like to use them for what I think of like a spot treatment. So if I have a specific area of ailment or you know some area that's bothering me, say it's my stomach, um, I have a stomach ache, or maybe I have back pain, knee pain, um, a head discomfort, head tension. All of those things can be positively affected by placing essential oils directly on the area because you're going to get absorption right into that area um, that's bothering you. And if you don't sort of have a specific area that's bothering you, but you kind of want more of a systemic overall absorption, then what you'll want to do is use the oils on the bottom of the feet. We have lots of large pores on the bottom of our feet, especially on the heel of the foot, and you get absorption into the bloodstream very quickly by using them that way. And this is a great way um, for kids to use them in kids. I like to put them on the bottom of my kids feet and we'll talk about uh, different reasons we do that as we go on. But the bottom of the feet and then also along the spine is another great area for kids, especially um, small kids. If you were worried about them touching the bottom of their feet with their hands, you know, they generally can't get back to, if you put it on their spine, they can't get their hands back there. So that's a great, um, two great areas to use them in children. Now when we use them topically, we do want to dilute the oils. And this will do two things. First of all, diluting the oils will help you to get a better absorption. Uh, the molecules, as I said, are very tiny and they evaporate into the air pretty quickly. So you kind of are weighing down those um, molecules or the, the oils and you get a better absorption. Now my favorite thing to dilute with is this fractionated coconut oil. Uh, this is different than your coconut oil that you buy that you cook with or that you might be more familiar with. This one stays liquid at room temperature. So really easy to just have and dilute in your hand. A drop or two of essential oil and then a few drops of your carrier oil, which in this case would be the coconut oil, um, is what you would use for dilution. Now also it helps to prevent any type of skin sensitivity. I personally do not have sensitive skin, so I put oils on um, often without diluting them, but I've been using them for five years, so I know that I don't have any issue um, with most all oils unless it's considered a hot oil, and I'll talk about the hot oils in just a few minutes. But just for safety purposes, always dilute, especially when you're just starting to use them, or if it's uh, a baby, a child, or an elderly person because their skin uh, is typically more thin and can be more sensitive. Okay, the last way to use the oils is internally. Now, we'll talk in just a minute about why it's so important to know the quality of your oils, especially with internal use. You can't just go to the store and buy oils and just use them, you know, all oils internally because it's not safe. And I'll talk about which ones are safe to use internally um, in just a minute. But internal use, I use them every day internally um, because I drink them in my water. This is my, if you ever see me anywhere, I will most likely always have a water container like this with me. Um, I like to drink citrus oils in my water. Things like lemon, 
wild orange, grapefruit. Those are extremely good for a daily detox. Um, really just helps your body to break down the chemicals that we're exposed to in the environment, the things that we put in our body, and the things that we put on our skin, you know, that have some unwanted chemicals and toxins in them sometimes. These uh, citrus oils really help to break those down and help you eliminate them. So I will put, this is a 25 ounce container, and I will typically put two to three drops of lemon or grapefruit, something like that in my water throughout the day. Now when you do consume them internally, you will want to make sure that you are using either a stainless uh, container, such as I just showed you, or a glass container. And the reason is the oils will pull the toxins out of plastic or styrofoam. So you want to really just make sure that you, um, you know, don't drink them out of plastic or styrofoam. And then also in this picture on the screen, you can see that I'm actually, if you can see it, I'm actually filling a veggie capsule in uh, the picture um, sort of on the left. So a veggie capsule is just an empty capsule that you can make your own blend of oils. And basically you just drop a few drops in that capsule and you pop it back together and you take it just like you would any other pill. Now I reserve that type of use for when I feel like I'm getting sick. So, um, you know, if I felt like I was coming down with something or getting sick, I'm going to tell you exactly what blend to use uh, in just a few minutes. But I would just make a little capsule and then I would take it internally um, and it really helps to knock out a cold flu very, very quickly. So those are the three ways that you use the oils, aromatic, topical, and internal. Next, I want to talk about why quality is so, so important and it's really crucial. You see on the left-hand side of this screen, there's the different grades of oils. Anything from synthetic, which is the majority of the oils on the market, and synthetic means that they are man-made, which, you know, made in a factory, um, they're not good for you. They are full of chemicals and toxins, so you don't want to put anything synthetic in your body certainly and not even on your body because it gets directly absorbed into the skin. And then you'll see all the way down to uh, where it says CPTG. That just stands for Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade. That's the kind of oil that you want to use um, especially if you're going to be consuming it. And that's why I've chosen to use doTERRA as a company because they provide Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade essential oils. Now what that means is doTERRA actually tests their oils extremely heavily. It, the oils go through seven batches of different tests, even at a third party, um, they're sent out to a third party just so that there are no biased results. And then they also source their oils, so they extract their oils from plants from where they natively grow. And that just increases the therapeutic property of them. It's very different than if we were, you know, planting lavender in our backyard in, you know, not its ideal conditions. We're not going to get as good of an, an oil extracted from that as if we're using something, you know, that's growing um, in its indigenous environment, say in France. So that, that hopefully makes sense to you. You'll see at the bottom of the screen, uh, it says uh, source to you.com. This is something very unique and uh, really neat that doTERRA does now. You can actually take each bottle of oil has a code on the side of it. You can go to that website, you can put that code in and it will tell you exactly where that came from, where it was sourced and the testing that was done on it. So that's pretty cool. You can um, you know, really tell how, what quality and how heavily these are tested. All right, so now let's talk about safety. So we talked a little bit about dilution just a few moments ago um, when we talked about topical use. Now let's say you put an oil on your skin and it felt warm or it felt like your skin was getting a little bit irritated. Uh, what you would want to do, the natural reaction is to put water on that or you know, to, to scrub it with soap or something like that. That's actually the opposite of what you want to do. And believe me, this has happened to every person, happened to me multiple times. It's happened to everyone that has ever used essential oils. 
if eventually, if you use oils, you will put something on your skin or your child's skin and um, it's just too intense, meaning that you didn't dilute it enough. And it just feels warm and um, maybe stings a little bit. What you'll want to do to make that go away almost instantaneously is to use your carrier oil like that coconut oil. Now you could use, you know, the coconut oil that solidifies at room temperature that you cook with. You could use olive oil. Just make sure it's an oil that you use. Apply it directly to the area and what it does is it just helps disperse all of that essential oil and it will go away almost immediately. So just remember that as a safety tip. Now hot oils, I mentioned there are some hot oils and what this means is there are some oils that you would never want to apply to your skin uh, without diluting, even if you don't have sensitive skin because they would, you would experience some redness and probably a little bit of burning. This would be things like oregano, thyme, cinnamon, and cassia. Those are probably um, black pepper also. Um, you know, you could have uh, a little bit of burning or, or irritation. And I'll just give you an example. Oregano, for instance. Oregano is amazing uh, for lots of different things, especially it has very high antibacterial properties. But I would never put it on my skin without diluting it unless I were trying to remove a wart. Um, oregano actually will help remove or, or will remove warts. Um, I've done it uh, several times, so it does work. Um, it's a consistent use. It's something that you have to do every day, but you only put it on uh, for that reason. You would only put it directly on the wart. You wouldn't put it on the healthy skin because that's where you would get the irritation. So just to kind of give you an example of, you know, how intense that, that oil can be, it can actually remove a wart. So pretty interesting. Now, how much to dilute? Uh, that's a question that I get a lot. How, how much carrier oil do I use with the essential oil? Now, remember, when we talk about oils, less is always more, okay? So, you know, we have the mindset sometimes um, in America that, you know, more is better. That is not the case with essential oils. Less is more. And that's why these little bottles last a really long time because you're only going to use anywhere from one to three drops per application. So very minimal amount. Now, for myself, I typically use about a one to one or a one to two ratio. So let's say I were going to put one drop of oil, essential oil in my hand, I would put one or two drops of my carrier oil and then rub that together and apply it, you know, topically, um, depending upon what I was using it for. For a child um, or a baby, you're obviously gonna wanna dilute much more heavily. So for children, I typically recommend uh, one to three drops per about a teaspoon of carrier oil. So you can see it would be, um, hey Robin, you can see that it would be much more um, or, or more heavily diluted. And we have charts and all to kind of for you to go by um, with this. Uh, so I'll get into a little bit more about that later. Um, so less is more. Never put oils in your eyes, ears, or inside the nose. So we never, we never put it inside um, any uh, cavity like that, so to speak. Um, you, you can use it topically on the outside. You just never want to put it inside those areas. All right, now let's dive right into some of the common issues that, um, that we suffer with, that all of us uh, suffer with, and things that we can positively affect by using uh, these plant-based products. So the first up I want to talk about is sleep. And you guys, sleep is so, so important. And sometimes I think, you know, people think, you know, sleep is, um, you know, is overrated, but honestly, you're constantly throughout the day, your body is being broken down. Your cells are being broken down from, you know, all of the stress that you're under during the day and just kind of just daily life. And if you don't get enough sleep in order to heal and repair and restore um, your cells and your body, then you're going to have chronic issues. Um, we know that, you know, lack of sleep can lead to a, a host of chronic medical conditions. So super important. 
as you know, the recommendation is you know somewhere around seven to eight hours of sleep uh, for most people for most adults. That's what they need. And these are um, what I have on the screen here. These are some of my absolute favorites for sleep. The first one on the left hand side is a picture of lavender uh, essential oil. Lavender is extremely calming. This is a great one for kids. Um, most kids absolutely love lavender. It's extremely relaxing to them. Uh, you can do, use um, these oils in a couple of different ways for sleep. You can diffuse them. So for kids, you would diffuse, if you were diffusing on the bedside table, you would diffuse two drops of lavender in your diffuser. Um, a little heavier for adults, two to four drops at the bed, you know, on the bedside table. You can also apply them topically. Now what I like to do um, before the kids go to bed is I like to um, I actually use lotion for this because lotion can be a carrier oil or a, a carrier, not oil, but a carrier also. I just put a little drop of, um, I use doTERRA's unscented lotion uh, in my hand and then one or two drops of lavender, rub that together and then just rub it on their feet at night before they go to bed. And that's extremely relaxing and just really um, helps them, you know, wind down before bed. Um, you could also rub it on their back. That would be another great area. Um, and just helps promote, again, that restful night's sleep. And we know what happens, right? If the kids sleep, the parents are going to sleep a lot better. So um, super important to get your kids sleeping well. Um, this works well for um, infants also. You can um, diffuse the oils or apply them topically. Again, you would just dilute heavier. Now on the right hand side of the screen, this is um, probably one of my absolute favorite products. It's called Serenity. Uh, this is a blend of oils that doTERRA makes and it's called the Restful Blend um, because that's what it's for. It's for rest and relaxation. Uh, it has lavender in it, but it also has some other oils in it. It has um, vanilla in it, uh, it has vetiver, cedarwood. But it, it is such an awesome scent. Uh, that is typically what I choose to diffuse at night on my bedside table is Serenity. I diffuse it and then I also apply Serenity to my wrist at night right before I go to bed and just rub it in. You know, and then I can smell it. I tend to you know, sleep like this. And so then I can smell that because it smells so good. Now, for people who really, truly have a very hard time sleeping, I'm not one of those people, um, luckily, so I just use the oils aromatically and topically. But doTERRA makes, you'll see there's a bottle there um, in that second picture, doTERRA makes the serenity in soft gels also for people who, again, have a really hard time sleeping. Now, I use the serenity soft gels if we're traveling. So if we are, you know, if I'm going to stay in a hotel or somewhere where I know I might not get a good night's sleep, then I will take my Serenity soft gels. And the, the recommended dose is two soft gels about 30 minutes before you're ready to go to bed. And it works so, so well. Okay, next up, stress. Now, I mean, I think probably everyone that I know, every person on here watching, um, would say that they are probably under at least some level of stress um, at some point during your day. Maybe it's not all day, but you know, something stresses you out probably on a daily basis, hopefully only for a short period of time. But these three oils that um, I have showing here in this picture are excellent for stress. First, again, is lavender. Again, lavender, super relaxing. Um, you can diffuse lavender if you are somewhere, maybe at work, and you have a diffuser. You can diffuse it for calming and relaxation. Um, I like to keep a diffuser necklace, actually. Um, they make ton, you can buy these online anywhere from like $10 um, you know, and up. So they're not expensive, but um, it's just a little necklace that has a little felt pad and I'll drop something like lavender or balance um, on it and then you can just smell it. Um, I usually just pull it up and smell it um, during the day. But that is super um, helpful with stress. I also love to apply oils for stress drop right in my hand and then just rub it on my neck um, because you can, once it gets on your skin there, you get the benefit of the topical absorption, but then you also get the benefit of aromatic because you can smell it. 
Now, lavender can be taken internally, and I didn't mention this before, so let me mention this now. Some of the oils, most all of them can be taken internally, but some of them are not recommended for internal use. Um, so it's usually the blends that doTERRA makes. Some of them, some of the ingredients are not recommended for internal use. And the way that you know that a specific oil can be used internally is it will have supplemental facts on the side of the bottle, just like a food label. And if you see an oil that has supplemental facts on the side of the bottle, then you know that it's safe for ingestion. So back to lavender. Lavender is one that can be ingested. Um, you can take two, you can actually take up to five drops, two to five drops for an adult internally in one of those uh, veggie capsules, like I mentioned. Um, if you really were super stressed, I know people who take this to help um, decrease their blood pressure and to promote a healthy blood pressure, uh, taking lavender internally. I've heard um, a lot of success, I mean countless, I, I couldn't sit here and count, um, of success stories of uh, people that I personally know using that um, to help with not only stress but also bringing down uh, blood pressure. So that's just kind of a side note there. And then the next uh, oil in the picture is called Balance. Balance is a blend of oils. It is called the grounding blend and Balance is, it smells a little bit uh, woodsy. It's got some of the fur oils in it, but it also has a little bit of sweetness to it. It smells really, really good. It is not recommended for internal use. So balance you would use either topically um, or you would, could diffuse it. Now using balance topically, what I like to do is I like to just place it right on my wrist, rub my wrist together, and then you know kind of smell it. I put this one on the kids a lot. Um, you know, if they um, if they kind of are, you know, acting up or, you know, uh, just seem irritable, let's put it that way. Uh, I like to put balance. I'll usually um, put it right on the bottom, on the back of their neck. I keep balance in a roller bottle, and this is this is a roller bottle. In case you have not seen one of those before, um, you can DoTerra makes some roller bottles that are pre-diluted, or you can make your own, and that's why it's so good to have that fractionated coconut oil. Sorry, it's turned around. That fractionated coconut oil um, because it stays liquid in these roller bottles. So that works out really, really well. Um, I keep the, these for tons of different reasons uh, in my purse because these are just so convenient and easy to use, not only on yourself, but on your kids, you know, especially when you're on the go like that. And then the third oil in this picture is wild orange. And wild orange is actually extremely good for stress. It pairs really well with balance. In fact, in my balance roller, I usually keep what put a few drops of wild orange with that. Um, it smells really nice. And again, it's really great at decreasing stress. Okay, next up is digestion. And this is actually, hey Carrie, this is actually um, the way that I was introduced to essential oils is through uh, this digestive blend. Uh, it's the oil on the right hand side of the screen called Digest Zen. That's doTERRA's digestive blend. And um, I was introduced uh, to the oils, as I said, um, through the digestive blend. I was having some stomach discomfort, and uh, actually my sister was at my house. She had uh, just gotten her oils a couple of weeks before, and she said, here, put this on your stomach. And maybe like many of you who haven't used oils, but you've been hearing about them, and you're like, I don't know, this sounds crazy. Does this stuff work? That was me five years ago. I was, I thought, you know, okay, I'll try it. I mean, obviously I trust her, we're very like-minded. So I said, okay, I'll try it. I put it on my stomach, the discomfort went away. Probably within a minute or so, the discomfort went away. And my first thought was, hmm, that was probably just in my head. You know, I probably, mm, I don't really know if that worked. And I was still skeptical. But I looked into it and I thought, you know what, these are um, organic, they're pure, they're, there are no synthetics in them, I'm not harming myself or my body in any way, and I want to see, does this stuff really work? So I decided to get started um, with a kit of oils and just kind of see. Uh, and the rest is really history because 
they do work. And you'll see time and time again um, if you just, just take that step and get started. So back to the digestion. Digest Zen, um, again, is a blend of oils that can be used for really anything digestive related. And I want to mention, this is, um, this is why the oils are so, so um, versatile. One oil, or a blend of oils in this case, can be used for uh, many different things and can be used to positively affect many different things. The reason is, the way that the oils work is that they go into the body and help to restore balance in the body. When we restore balance in the body, our bodies heal themselves. So giving you know, our bodies what they need helps them to heal themselves. And that's how these oils work a little bit differently than you know, your conventional pharmaceuticals. Um, often they put a Band-Aid on the problem um, and kind of mask um, the issue. Uh, the oils are very different. Again, they go in and restore balance. So something like digestin can be used for anything digestive related, whether it's um, heartburn, reflux, constipation, diarrhea, it can be used for any of those things. And it's because it helps to restore balance in the body so that your body can heal itself. So the way that you would use either digestin or peppermint is the other one um, that I, you'll see in the picture there. Peppermint is excellent for uh, digestive issues. But what you'll do is you'll want to apply these topically to the stomach. So keep, again, I keep, this is one that I keep in that convenient roller bottle because it's so easy just to take the top off and roll it right on the abdomen. So keeping that with you, you know, if you have any kind of stomach discomfort, you just roll it right on. Super awesome for kids. Um, works really, really well. My kids keep one in their book bag at school and they can use it, um, you know, whenever they need it. Um, for infants with colic, this actually um, helps. Uh, typically, we add a little bit of wild orange to it, and that works really well for uh, colic. Now, you can take digestin or peppermint internally. It is one of the oils that you can use internally. I will typically turn to internal use for this if I really have, you know, a, a severe stomach ache or something, you know, more significant going on and I just kind of really want a, um, more intense use of the oils, I'll go ahead and take them internally. I'll just make a veggie capsule and, um, you know, swallow that and then you're good to go. But these are ones that you will, you know, want to dilute uh, if you're applying them topically to your abdomen, uh, as I mentioned. And you'll see here, um, typically, just, just to let you know, if I'm going to use, this is a 10 ml or milliliter roller bottle, I will put about 20 drops of the essential oil. So if I were making a digestion essential oil roller, I'd put about 20 drops and then I'd fill the rest with my fractionated uh, coconut oil. Uh, and then that is all diluted and ready to go for you. Okay, next up, something that we probably all need a ton of right now is immune support. You know, gosh, I, I mean, there are so many people sick right now um, Every, every day, every time I turn around, someone has this, the flu, right? Right now, it seems like, um, or, or some type of upper respiratory um, you know, issue or infection going on. So to promote a healthy immune system, this is something that we do uh, pretty much year round, but I definitely am most consistent with this during the uh, winter months, cold and flu season. So in the picture here, you see I have frankincense and on guard. Frankincense is really um, the king of oils. Um, it can be used for almost anything. Uh, frankincense is extremely uh, anti-inflammatory and it also has immune boosting properties. So what I personally like to do with the frankincense is I take it internally every day. I put two drops of frankincense right under my tongue. Uh, you get really good absorption under your tongue in the sublingual area there. So right before I go to bed, I'll put two drops of frankincense under my tongue. Decreases inflammation in the body and helps to boost um, my immune system. Now for the kids, what I like to do is keep it in a roller 
I'm just going to show you my roller again. <laughs> Keep it in a roller just like this on the bedside table and roll it right on the bottom of their feet uh, before they go to bed. Now, I also add to that roller the oil on the right there called On Guard. On Guard is a blend of oils that doTERRA makes. It's called the Protective Blend. It is amazing. Um, first of all, On Guard is great for immune support. It helps promote a healthy immune response in the body. And I'll talk in just a few minutes, I think on the next slide, about the other properties of On Guard um, because it does have antimicrobial properties as well. But again, applying these topically to the bottom of the feet, um, and you would not have to take the frankincense internally. That's just my personal choice. You could, an adult could use these topically on the bottom of their feet, just again, to promote that healthy immune response and help keep yourself from getting sick. Now, I also will say On Guard is one that I diffuse um, almost every day during this time of year because cleansing the air, ridding the air in your home of germs, um, you know, and bacteria that's floating around is of course going to help prevent you and your family from hopefully getting sick. And there are studies, On Guard has actually been studied, um, it's probably one of, of the oils that's been studied most heavily. Uh, there are hospitals in the United States, like throughout the United States, that diffuse On Guard um, because of these properties, because of its cleansing properties and its antimicrobial properties. So certainly beneficial. If you're wondering what it smells like, if you've never smelled it, it actually smells really good. It has cinnamon, clove, wild orange, rosemary, um, I think eucalyptus. I think it has five oils in it. But it smells really good. It kind of smells like fall and Christmas to me. Um, certainly a scent that you would like to have in your home. All right, so moving on to, now what if you do get sick? Okay, you know, we're all going to get sick at some point, right? Um, it's inevitable. I mean, you know, no matter how much, uh, how healthy your immune system is, at some point, uh, you're going to come down with something. This is the blend um, of oils that we use if we feel like we're getting sick. And if you know anyone who uses essential oils um, that you're close with, you may have heard them reference this blend called the Flume, F-L-O-O-M. And that's just an acronym for the first letter of these five oils. So we've got frankincense, lemon, On Guard, oregano, and melaleuca. Now I want to tell you why these oils are in this blend. So first, if I feel like I'm coming down with something, then I'm going to start taking this immediately. Now I, again, keep this blend very conveniently in a roller bottle. Uh, that way, if my kids, you know, they feel like they're getting stuffy or, you know, coming down with something, I'll start using that on them um, two to three times a day on the bottom of their feet. For me personally, if I feel like I'm coming down with something, I'll take this internally in one of those veggie capsules uh, two to three times a day, and it will typically just knock it out, usually in two to three days. Uh, you will find that if you do get sick and you do come down with something, this will definitely shorten the course of um, you know whatever you're dealing with. I find that it really shortens the course of an illness, um, you know, an infection that you have. So frankincense, uh, first of all, uh, is anti-inflammatory. Um, you know, when you, when you are sick or when you come down with anything, you have um, inflammation in your body. So frankincense is going to help with that um, uh, inflammation. Lemon has antimicrobial properties, but lemon also has what we call mucolytic properties. So lemon is great for breaking up mucus and helping to get rid of mucus. So that's why it's in this blend. On Guard, I mentioned, is the protective blend. On Guard has antibacterial and antiviral properties. So extremely beneficial for any type of illness because often we don't know if it's you know, bacterial or viral. Oregano is a powerhouse um, for its antibacterial properties. So you would always wanna use oregano if you feel like you're getting sick. And then Melaleuca, 
has antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal properties. So, you know, you've got, you kind of are covered with all of these. Um, and they just work so, so well together. So again, um, in, a ca in a veggie capsule or topically, if you feel like you're getting sick, now if you, if you then do, you know, get sick or, or you wait and you start taking these when you've really fully come down with something, you'll want to be using them about every two to three hours, and whether it's internal or topical. And the reason is our bodies know how to use these oils very, and they use them up very quickly because the oils work with our bodies versus when we take a conventional medication. Sometimes, you know, it's only allowed that, you know, you can take it, say, every four to six or eight hours. And that's because you could build up a toxicity and it would be harmful to your body. The oils work with our body, and so they're actually used up very quickly by our body, so we have to use them more frequently. So that's, that's the reason that you'll see that they're recommended to be used more frequently. Okay, skin issues. Now, I have a lot of questions about skin issues. Now, this is anything from um, things like eczema, psoriasis, um, just dry skin, uh, anything from burns to cuts, uh, acne, uh, you know, breakouts on the skin. These are your three go-to oils for anything skin related. Frankincense, again, super anti-inflammatory properties. Frankincense is also really great for fine lines and wrinkles. So I like to use it in my moisturizer at night. I'll just put, you know, a drop of frankincense in my moisturizer and apply it directly on my face. Lavender is amazing for burns and for any kind of irritation on the skin, bug bites, uh, burns, cuts, anything like that, um, any irritation, lavender will be your go-to. Um, in fact, I burned my finger the other night on the stove and lavender, I mean, it was within probably less than 30 seconds I put it on and it was gone just like that. Lavender is extremely powerful. And then melaleuca. Melaleuca, because it has those antimicrobial properties, melaleuca is going to be great for any uh, cuts, scrapes, abrasions, so that the skin does not get infected. But then melaleuca is also really good for breakouts on the skin. So if I have a breakout on my face, um, I, because I know I don't have sensitive skin, I'll apply melaleuca just directly to that area. Now again, the recommendation is I would recommend that you dilute, especially until you have kind of um, uh, are more familiar with using these. But these are your kind of three go-tos for skin issues. Okay, energy. I mean, like, who doesn't want more energy, right? You know, I mean, I know that, I, you know, for, for years I would, I would always get tired, like, in the afternoon and, and would think, gosh, I wish I had more energy. Um... I don't feel that way anymore. Um, and I'll tell you guys what I do. So first, um, oils, let's talk about oils first. On the left-hand side of the screen, if you just really want kind of um, a boost of energy and kind of pick me up, wild orange is amazing. I like to use it with peppermint. Peppermint is super energizing. So a drop of wild orange, drop of peppermint in your palm, rub your hands together, rub it on the back of your neck, and it's very uh, uplifting and energizing. Now, I like to diffuse both of those together in the morning uh, when we wake up. I like to keep, you know, keep a diffuser right on my kitchen island, and I'll diffuse those two oils together because they smell amazing, and again, they're just, they wake you up, and they're very energizing. Lemon, uh, you can diffuse lemon or drink it in your water, again, for um, just energy and for that daily detox. When we get rid of toxins in our body, we're naturally going to have more energy uh, by getting rid of those things. On the right-hand side of the screen here, you'll see um, this is a, a vitamin complex um, pack that doTERRA makes, and this is actually surprisingly their best selling product, this is their number one selling product, not even an essential oil, even though they're the largest essential oil company in the world. So that just hopefully should go to show you how amazing these vitamins are. Uh, they give a 30 day money back guarantee that if you do not have more energy 
and or less pain if you're someone with chronic pain, um, which would off, is often due to inflammation, they'll give you your money back. Never had anybody send these back. Um, they are a true game changer. Now, I want to explain something. I don't want to get into great detail about, um, about the vitamins, but I do want to explain why it is so important uh, if you're if you're going to take a vitamin to make sure that you know what you're taking. So most people I find take vitamins because they think it's healthy or their doctor told them, you know, you should take a multivitamin every day. But honestly, uh, the vitamins that are sold over the counter are full of synthetics. And when you have synthetics like that that you're putting into your body, um, your body doesn't recognize that, and so it's not going to process and absorb the nutrients if there are any vitamins and minerals and nutrients in those things. So super important that you have and are taking a vitamin that is what we call bioavailable. And that means that your body knows how to process and use the nutrients, the vitamins, the minerals that are in that product um, so that you get the benefit from it. And that's why most people, when they take a multivitamin, they don't feel any different. They're like, eh, I take it because I'm supposed to, but yeah, I don't feel any different. Um, I, I could list, I don't even know how many testimonies, um, including myself, that if you take these, you will have more energy. You will feel a difference. Um, and people will tell you that. Uh, pretty much everyone that I know of that takes these will say that. So um, what's in here, just so you know, it's three different pills. Um, one is just your vitamin and mineral complex, um, just your standard, you know, what you would need on a daily basis um, of vitamins and minerals. The second is your omega-3s and 6s. So super important to have those healthy fats because we know that's important for immune health, for heart health, brain health, joint health, gut health. Super important. Um, we don't get enough in our diet. Uh, and then the third thing is something that's very unique called um, alpha-CRS, and that's just a cellular complex. What this is, is it helps to, or what this does is, it helps to keep your cells healthy and clean. Um, and that's really where you get most of your uh, energy from in terms of, you know, the three of these together. So I would highly, highly encourage you um, to try these. They are amazing. And again, 30-day money-back guarantee. You really can't get wrong. Okay, seasonal threats. I was actually talking with someone um, today about seasonal threats. Um, she was having some issues with sneezing and just congestion, and I gave her um, a, a pill of these three oils on the left-hand side of the screen, lemon, lavender, and peppermint, and before she had left my house, she was like, um, yeah, I'm not sneezing anymore, and I can already tell, you know, that my, I'm opening up. Uh, so these... They, this combination works really well. This is uh, the seasonal blend, lemon, lavender, and peppermint. Those are the three things that you would use together. You could take them internally. And I just do want to mention that um, you could make your own veggie capsule, but one thing that doTERRA started doing probably a couple years ago was making it extremely convenient, and they make them in a soft gel together now. Um, it's called Tri-Ease. Uh, this is for some, this is, I, I use the, I don't have, to take these on a daily, you know, or regular basis, but some people do really have um, issues with this and have to take them on a daily basis. So this just makes it super convenient and easy. Now, if I were going to use this um, for kids, my kids can take um, uh, these tri-ease internally. And I do want to mention uh, that internal use for children, you want to wait till they're about age uh, seven and up. Okay, and then they can take them internally, um, you know, in smaller doses. But certainly, uh, you know, the, the seasonal blend, my kids take that internally. My kids are 11, so no issues there. But for anyone, you know, any children under that age, under 7 or so, uh, you would apply these topically. Again, this is where your little convenient um, roller bottles come in. I keep this blend mixed in a roller bottle because I don't always give it to them internally. Sometimes I'll just apply it um, to the bottom of their feet. So I usually use um, equal drops in a 10 milliliter roller bottle. I'll do 20 drops of each. 
um, and then dilute with coconut oil. Again, you can go lighter if this was for a younger child and do five to 10 drops of each would be fine um, in a 10 ml roller bottle. Now on the right hand side of the screen is an oil called Breathe. This is the respiratory blend and Breathe, think of this like a natural um, Vic Sav or Vix Vapor Rub. Uh, it kind of smells similar to that and it really opens up your airways and helps you to breathe easier. So what I like to do when you know we feel like we're congested or have any kind of breathing issues, put a couple of drops in the diffuser but then also I like to dilute it with um, my carrier oil, my coconut oil, and apply it directly to the chest. And again, it just really helps to open up your airways and helps with breathing. Okay, aches and pains. Uh, I'm pretty sure we all have these uh, from time to time. So let's talk about head tension because this is one that, you know, whether this is something that you suffer with chronically or it could just be from stress, from something like stress. Um, there are a couple of options. Peppermint is a great option just to apply directly to the temples. So what you would want to do is, if you had this in a roller, you would just take your diluted roller and just roll it right on the temples. Um, or you could just take, again, a drop in your hand, a couple of drops of carrier oil, rub it together. You want to stay by the hairline uh, because you don't want to get this too close to the eyes. You don't want to get it in your eyes or, of course, it's going to sting. Um, and then if you did do that, you would just use your uh, carrier oil, again, to kind of disperse that and get rid of the stinging. Frankincense is another one that is great for any kind of head tension. So some people prefer to use frankincense. Same way, you can apply it right um, to that temple area. And sometimes I'll even, you know, roll it across my forehead. And then you'll see a roller bottle on the screen, and I know you probably can't read that. But that is a blend called Past Tense. It's a blend of oils that is specifically, it's the tension blend. So it's specifically for tension. So using it, this is the one that my kids actually like to use if they have any head tension. Apply it right on the temples, across the forehead. And often I'll rub it on my back, or excuse me, on the back of my neck. And the reason is, you know, a lot of times if you do have head tension, it can be just from tension in your neck and just from feeling, you know, kind of tight or stiff. So that's another really great area and way um, to use that. Now, for anything uh, muscle or joint related, Deep Blue is going to be your go-to. I mean, Deep Blue is like probably one of my absolute favorites. I use it on a daily basis. You'll see that it comes in that tube is just in a, a cream form. It has the deep blue oil in it. So it's kind of already diluted um, somewhat and it spreads really easily in um, using it in that form. So what I like to do is I use it before I exercise. Um, I've had some back issues in the past and just putting it right on my back helps to keep my muscles really loose and um, you know not stiff and, and tight when I exercise and it just feels really good. Uh, the oil you can use that way as well and also another way to use the oil that I love is in a bath with Epsom salt. It's so relaxing. Um, Epsom salt, deep blue, and some lavender and it is amazing. So that's um, definitely something that I use frequently. Okay, so those are kind of, um, you know, the top issues that I find that people um, really want a natural solution for. So if you are someone who is kind of just checking this out and you keep seeing all this information about essential oils and you're like, I don't really know where to start. I don't really know how this works. What if it doesn't work? Well, my advice to you would be just like me five years ago, just try it. What do you have to lose? You know, you're never going to know if you don't try it, right? So how to get started. I want to explain that to you just briefly and then tell you about a special promotion. And then I did, I mentioned this at the beginning, but for people who hopped on later, if you're on live, make sure that you say, hey, um, give me a thumbs up or something. I'm going to do, um, you're going to be entered to win a drawing at the end. So make sure uh, to let me know that you're on live. 
So the way that you get started is with a wholesale membership. And what this wholesale membership does is it gets you 25% off of retail cost, which is a great savings, 25% off, and you get access to our educational group. It's a private group right here on Facebook. Uh, we provide daily education resources. It's such an amazing group to ask questions, to learn from others. I learn something every day just by seeing what's posted in that group. It is amazing. Um, you also will have the opportunity to order with a rewards program that will allow you to get free products. So super, super awesome. Now I do want to tell you guys what a membership is not. It does not mean that you have to order something every month. It does not mean that you have to go and sell oils to somebody. Uh, those are just two extremely big misconceptions that I find people um, have. And you know, wherever they got it from, I don't know. But I want to just clear that up that that is not how um, how this works. Uh, the membership is to get you the 25% off and to get you access to our educational group uh, and the loyalty rewards program if you choose. And that's it. It's so flexible. It's so easy. Um, these are two great ways to get started. The enrollment kits are discounted uh, in the fact that you don't pay the membership. The membership is $35, um, which is what gets you the 25% off and access to the education. But when you get an enrollment kit, when you get started with an enrollment kit, um, you don't pay the $35. So these are two I just wanted to mention. There are others, but these are two great ways to get started. First on the left-hand side of the screen is the Aromatouch Diffused Kit. Now, both of these kits come with the diffuser that we talked about that I showed you a picture of. Um, it's an amazing diffuser, I absolutely love it. Um, in the Aromatouch Diffused Kit, you can see what all is included in it. Um, most all of the oils, um, actually I think, I think most all of, yeah, most all of the oils that I talked about tonight are in that kit. Um, and then the Home Essentials kit also has the diffuser. Uh, the bottles of oil in the Home Essentials kit are a little bit larger. They're the 15 milliliter bottles versus the five milliliter that's in the Aromatouch diffused kit. And you can see the different price points there. Um, but here's something that I wanted to mention next that is so awesome that doTERRA does, um, or at least has done for the last couple of years in January. It's called the New Year, New You promotion. And it is a way to get a hundred free dollars in oils. I mean, y'all, that's huge. A uh, hundred free dollars in oils. So if you are not already a member, this is only for new members. If you are not already a member, you get started with 100 PV, that stands for product value. Okay, most oils are dollar for product value. So you get started with 100 PV worth of oils, um, and either one of those kits I just mentioned would cover this. Okay, they were, they were both at least 100 PV uh, this month. Next month, you purchase 100 PV in oils, and then you get a free 100, which is a free $100 in oils. Now, this is a really, really great... Um, really great deal. So I would encourage you to take advantage of that. And that's, that is it. That, I mean, that's kind of a nutshell of how you could simply get started using some oils. And I would say, you know, just start, start somewhere. You have to start somewhere. Pick an issue that you want to positively affect. Maybe it's sleep. Maybe it's stress. And just go from there. I mean, you'll, you will learn through our educational resources. You'll learn at your own pace. You'll learn as you go. And you'll see that these can be used in so many different ways. It's so worth the investment. Um, I do want to tell you guys what I'm giving away. So last chance to post in the comments if you are on live, um, say hello. If you have a question, certainly ask it, please. But I will be, um, you will be entered into a drawing, and I'll post the winner here in just a little bit, um, for Serenity, that restful blend. Y'all, this smells so good. It is so amazing. 
Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, please reach out to me if you have any questions. If you have not started with oils and you're ready to get started, I'm here to help you. So message me, let me know, and we will get you hooked up. All right, guys. I hope that you guys have um, have a great night. Uh, Brenda, <laughs> we will get you hooked up, and I'm so glad that you joined the class tonight. All right, guys. You guys have a great one. We'll see you next time. Bye.